On this week's episode, a movie that gives the big middle finger to social justice warriors everywhere. I believe you people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? And Sam Adams, New England IPA. Stick around, you fuck sticks. <laughs> I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. Hey, what's going on, you lazy bastards? I ain't only lazy. Let's guess. Watching us while scratching their balls in a recliner. And if I wasn't on this side of this whole fucking situation, that's what I'd be doing. Good point. Perhaps they're just hardworking bastards. Now just taking the time to watch and share a horrendous shit. Oh yeah, I meant it with love, John. Okay, on with the show. First, we got a local goodie. Sam Adams New England IPA. It's juicy, fruity goodness. I like it. Very refreshing. You know what's refreshing? Watching Tropic Thunder for the first time since social justice warriors took to the internet. Forgot how funny this flick was. I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want. But this is Ben Stiller's masterpiece. You want to set the stage? Sure. It's a 2008 action comedy film about a group of actors making a Vietnam film but shenanigans and comedy ensue. They're dropped in the jungle and these prima donna actors think everything that's happening is all set up by the producers. But these stumbling bumbling fucks somehow make their way through the action adventure. Ben Stiller plays one of the high priced action heroes living off of sequels. Dang up Jack Black who's made a living off of fart style comedy. You was farting in bathtubs and laughing your ass off. Damn, I missed a calling. You did. Anyway, the last of the three big players is Robert Downey Jr. I got a bone to pick here. Oh, no. Dit, dit, dit. Hush, John. We'll get to the movie. Apparently, we have people now bitching that RDJ. RDJ? Oh, I see what you did there. Anyway, RDJ did blackface. You stupid fucks, the whole point was to actually point a finger at how dumb Hollywood prima donnas can be. A hot girl playing ugly, a skinny guy playing fat, a smart guy playing an idiot. Whoa, look at me! And it wasn't blackface, it was black body. Can people just take entertainment for what it is? It's entertaining. Obviously not. You finished? No, fuck all the people. If they get this movie banned, I'm gonna visit each and every one of them and crap on their front porch. Wow. Gross. Now you done? Yes, on with the motherfucking show. So which scene you want to start with first? Since I broached the subject, let's go Robert Downey Jr. or RDJ. Nice, right? You know artist. In my personal opinion, RDJ is one of the best actors of our time. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. What? See what I'm saying? I know he's acting as an actor. In an actor. Are you a dude who has no idea what dude he is? Oh shit, I think my eyes just went cross-eyed. He gets ill into this part. Stupid ass Jack. He never comes out of character. I made us some crab apples. Put the zap now, yeah? And the ridiculousness of the whole backlash. What the fuck did I just hear? He has line after line like these. And everyone's gay once in a while. But my favorite, which is gonna make people's heads explode for multiple reasons, when he sits with Speedman, Ben Stiller's character, and explains why Simple Jack failed. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. I want you to make a remark, Tom. I know what he means. I mean, my cousin Marvin. Oh, no. I'm tired of having to apologize to the entirety of the handicapped community because they kept thinking we were referring to them as Yankees fans. No, I think they were pissed because of the R word. What was that, John? R word, Ma. What word is that? The R word. Really? Ah, ridiculous. No, not that one. Rotund? The R word. Come on, say it. Nah, nope. Say it. They were pissed because you called them retarded, Tom. Can't say that anymore. Good Lord. I know. I didn't think they cared that Marvin was a Yankees fan. Of course they did. Who the fuck wants to be grouped in with those assholes? Okay, can we move on? Yep. Our next scene involves Jack Black's character, Jeff Portney, is Jones in for some drugs. He's asking Al Pacino, Brandon T. Jackson's character, not to be confused with Al Pacino, but Al Pacino, have this conversation. If you untie me, I will literally suck your dick right now. I told you, for the last time, I love the pussy. I'll cradle the balls, stroke the shaft, work the pipe, and swallow the gravy. Ah, uh, cradle your balls, wow. I've never seen somebody so addicted to something that they would say, I'll cradle your balls. That's some funny shit. What if they had the last beer on the planet? Oh, in that case, I wouldn't only cradle the balls, I'd stick my finger in their ass. 
the whole time while sucking them off like it's the keg tap to Buzz Blue Works. So what you're saying... Okay, okay, I have an addiction, but I can't relate because I've never gone more than a few hours without beer in my system. That, that whole fingering thing, that was pretty gross, Tom. Shut up. And our third scene is where Ben Stiller, or Speedman, completely loses his shit out in the woods. After a really scary attack by something we can't see, you think it's a big grizzly bear or something, he stabs the shit out of it, only to realize it's something he loves in this world, a panda bear. Then he calls Matthew McConaughey, his agent, and we learn more about Speedman. Rick! Tug! I killed one, Rick. The thing I love most in the world. A hooker. All right, you killed a hooker. No, a panda. The movie goes off the rails just like our everyday conversations. It's like they took my life story, minus having money, being famous, and turning myself black, and put it up on the screen. Okay, we got dead pandas, white men playing black men, party favors for drugs. What would a parody movie on Hollywood be without the ridiculousness of a guy like this? You know how you handle an actor? They whine about anything. You pull down their pants and you spank their ass. He did a great job in that dance. Yes, our bonus clip. <laughs> I think the greatest part Tom Cruise has ever played in a film. First of all, the very first time I saw it, I didn't even know it was him for a moment. Probably could have a competition with that kickboxer scene from a couple of weeks ago. Have you ever seen two reasonably cool dudes like them dance the way they dance? And somehow, it's cool. Full circle, asshole to awesome. Alright, I'm gonna give this movie a 5 out of 5 beers. SJW's heads are exploding all over the place right now. So for that alone, it gets a perfect score. This shit is funny. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go 5s as well. This made me laugh from start to finish. And you can rank it up there with Blazing Saddles as a film that will never, ever be remade. Good point. And I Sam Adams New England IPA. I'm giving this one a 4.5. It's really good. I don't even notice the juicy flavor after a case or two. Yeah, I like it. But I agree on the juicy side. I'm going to say 3.5. I've had better from Sam Adams. It could absolutely be closer to a 5 on a hot summer day. Well, I got shit to do. If you want to continue, you can. Really? I don't see why not. Nah, I like your reaction to the stupid shit I say. Without instant gratification like you puking in your mouth, it's just not as fun. Next week? Don't know. Probably have a surprise. Tell me out. Okay, later.